Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you to IMATS with me and then I'm going to have a haul at the second half of my video, but I don't want to do all this talking. Let's just get to IMATS. So I just got here and I am the second person in line because I always come to these things so early and it doesn't open for like two hours, but yeah, I'm excited. So it is like 6 o'clock and I'm finally leaving IMAX and it was fun, I'll see you next year! So I am back in my car. So it is official, I spent close to $500 today. I just go for it. When I'm at IMAX, I don't really look at how much I'm spending until the end and then I'm like maybe I shouldn't have done that so uh, now I am about to drive home and it's gonna take me about an hour to get home so we will see when I get there and I'm so hungry so so hungry the first thing I got is from Hourglass oh jeez so this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And if I'm not mistaken, this was only $34. Which, online, I think it's like close to $50. I think it was like $46 online. And the promotion for Hourglass on top of just like the price decrease was that you can get a free full-size primer. And they let you pick from which primer you want it. And this is the one I chose. It is the Ambient Dim Light Primer. The next thing I got, I saw this online, like in photos, and I didn't know that this brand is the brand that made them. I just saw them online and I was like, oh my god, I need that. Your girl went to Jouer. And I got their little makeup bag. They had a bigger one that was probably like... Like, that's the shape of the bag. And I met this really nice girl and her sister in line. I really wish I would have gotten, like, her Instagram or anything. But I met her in line, and she was talking to me, like, basically for, like, the two hours that we were waiting in line. And I actually ran into them when I was in the convention. And they're like, oh, my God, what did you get? And we were showing each other different things that we got. And one of the things that she had was the larger Jouer bag. And I was like, where did you get that? That is so cute. Because I knew that I really, like, had wanted one before. She told me Jouer. So my ass went to go get one because literally this bag is so cute and like everything that I needed. I just, I feel like this just looks so expensive and just so like luxurious. And this bag was only $15. 
it was 50 freaking dollars the next thing I got was from beauty creation if you saw in my vlog you would have seen that there was these little like martini glasses filled with glitter you can basically mix any of the glitters that you like or just pick out a single glitter by itself and I think it was two for five dollars and they give you these little plastic containers so the first glitter that I got is this and it's like a hot pink glitter the second glitter that I got is this guy so this is that gold glitter it has like fine glitter in it and it also has chunky glitter in it so it's so beautiful and then i got this like yellow glitter like this golden yellow glitter and these were all two for five dollars and honestly they are so worth it they are so beautiful and i'm not even gonna lie i saw like a few other booths that were selling glitter and i was like the glitter at like the other booths were maybe like 10 15 dollars each and they did not look as good as beauty creations glitter that's all i'm gonna say so this is the yellow glitter and this is the same thing where it has some fine milled glitter and then it also has some of the bigger chunks in it and then the last glitter that i got it's this glitter right here and it's like a neon yellow glitter so i'm not going to be doing any swatching on these two just because they're so finely milled and it's going to get everywhere and i don't want that to happen right now the next thing i got is from friends beauty and i normally just buy beauty blenders from them and like bed night powder so the beauty blender set that i got this year i think this was 35 dollars it comes in this little baggie. It comes with a beauty blender solid. And it also came... Oh! So like I was saying, it also comes with three beauty blenders. You get a black, a pink, and a nude. And these are the original beauty blender beauty blenders. But I bought so many freaking beauty blenders because I just wanted to try so many. And I go through beauty blenders like crazy. And I like all the different like shapes and textures. So if you see my... Like... Later on in the video, you're like, damn girl, you've got so many beauty blenders. Sorry. The next thing I got is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I always make sure that I also have the Makeup Revolution dupe on hand because if I'm just like going out like with family to chill for a bit, I don't need to look expensive. This was also around 25 or 30. And then Friends always gives you this cute little bag. So one good thing about iMats is that you get so many like big and nice reusable bags. Like when you go to like the market or Target or different places, you have like these nice makeup bags that you're like, here, you can put my bread in here type of thing. <laughs> so speaking on the NYX subject. So from NYX, I only got a couple things. The first thing is just the basic glitter glue. And the glue was $4.55. I also got this teal glitter. So this is how the teal glitter comes off and this is in the shade 03 and with a NYX you also get a bag so the next booth I went to is a cinema secrets I decided to grab this and this is the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner for the sake of this video I will be doing a little bit of a demonstration in case you want to order this online you will know how it works and this is a 32 ounce bottle which was only $25 and I believe it's like originally $50 so here is one of my eyeshadow brushes, how it looks after doing my makeup today. So basically I'm going to dip no more than like the tips here into the solution and then I'm going to clean my brush. But I remember when I was in makeup school, my brushes always smelled so good. And like anyone's brushes who worked on each other, their brushes smelled so good and we all had the solution and it's because of this. So again, here's my makeup brush and I already dipped it into the solution and you just kind of... And the brush is obviously going to be a little bit stained because it is a white brush. The brush is also going to be drying instantly. But here is the makeup brush after using the solution. The next booth I went to is the Makeup Shack. I was able to find this palette that I honestly have never seen it before. But I saw it and I was like, I need it. So... I grabbed the Muse palette. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. I'll do some swatches of like three colors. So this is Muse. Here is Fame. So the last shade is Eve and it is a matte orange. And wow. It's so freaking pigmented. Sorry if you hear snoring as always in all of my videos. My dog is here. He's sleeping. He is... Literally the sleepiest boxer you will ever meet. So I also went to Crown Brushes and, oh, Crown Brush. 
crumb brush and this is actually like the first brush company that I heard of even before Morphe and it was actually like through iMats that I had started buying a bunch of crumb brushes and they literally are they're very similar in quality to Morphe and very similar in price so this is a C330 Pro blending crease the next brush is a C513 and this is just like a crease detail brush this is an SS021 this is a C138 round crease brush, a C330 Pro blending crease brush, a C528, which is just another detailed crease brush, and a CB01 large contour brush. So the reason why I got the contour brush, because I know that these, to me, these always just look like pretend little like play toy brushes, but I got this one because a lot of the times when I blend my foundation in with the beauty blender, for some reason I always miss, like, because I always like dot my face with the foundation, I always miss literally like a spot somewhere right here. And then with this brush, I'll just be able to go under all of my chin, my neck, and just all of like the large surface areas that I might have missed a spot to completely blend it in. The crown brushes are anywhere from like two to six, seven dollars. I did not get a receipt from Crown Brushes, so I didn't have like the exact pricing of everything, but they are fairly cheap, and you can use Crown 25 for 25% 25 off of any purchase you make with them. The next place I went to is my favorite place at IMATS, and it is Lady Moss. I got 12 pairs of eyelashes, which I know it sounds like a lot from them, but I wear the same eyelashes all the time. They're the Queen Bees, and if you've been following my channel for a while or just following me on Instagram in general, you'll know that these are my absolute favorite lashes. I also got these, which are J'adore. These are Eris. I also got Venus, which I have tried before, and I absolutely love these. The last ones I got are Honey Bee, which are kind of like a sister lash to Queen Bees. Here are the two together. Queen Bee is on top, and Honey Bee is on the bottom. The Coco Lashes were also four for $22. Next, I went to MAC and they gave me this freaking enormous MAC bag. Perfect if you're going to like Target or whatever. And it's like one huge reusable bag. Like it's freaking huge. So from MAC, I got the Fix Plus Gold Light. So it's not really picking it up on camera, but it just leaves like very pretty soft gold reflex on your skin and it doesn't necessarily look like glitter or shimmer it just looks like glowy and dewy the next thing I got is the MAC lip pencil in spice so here is a swatch of spice and the last thing I got is the MAC shape and shade brow tint this is my like one of my favorite brow products and this is in the shade spiked I think they have a darker one but basically on one end it is like a very very fine pen brush type of thing and you can create like very very similar and thin and defined brow strokes with this and then on the other side you twist it off and it's basically like a crayon and you can fill in your brows so for the gold light fix plus it was only, it's originally $27 and I paid $18.90. The Shape and Shape Brow Tint is originally $22 and I paid $15.40. And the Lip Pencil is originally $18 and I paid $12.60. So the next booth is Sigma. So from Sigma, I got two of these blenders. They are my favorite because of the shape of them. You can really like get into your under eye. I got a pink and a black. I think these were only like $9, I want to say, because I paid $18 for both of them. Also at IMATS, when I was going to like buy the Coco lashes, there was some booth, it was like an eyelash booth right across from Coco, and the girls like cornered me into the booth, like obviously they were trying to like sell their products, but it was like all of like the workers, I just remember they were wearing like red shirts, and they had really cute eyelashes, do not get me wrong, that's what they were selling, it's like eyelashes, and the girl was like, you look like you wear eyelashes, and I was like, oh yeah, and like I was kind of just like trying to run my own business and do shopping, like regular shopping and she was like oh well look at these eyelashes these are the eyelashes I'm wearing don't you like them aren't they pretty and I was like yeah they're really pretty but 
those weren't like the eyelashes that I wanted to like buy and I was just like oh okay like I'll take a look around so I walked in and on this on the left hand side of me there's a counter and the girl standing on the other side of the counter and the girl who like wanted me to go in and is like showing me all the lashes she's in front of me closer to like the inside of the walls and then another girl like a worker is like hi I can help you and I was like oh no it's okay thank you like she's just showing me your lashes and she's like yeah well I can help you too and I was just like okay and they're all like standing around me cornering me and they're like so which one do you like which one do you want to buy and I was like um uh cornering people into your booth to try to get them to buy something is not going to want to make them buy something even more if anything it just makes you feel more uncomfortable shopping I literally texted someone and was like please call me ASAP so that I can get out of here and like I just felt like I couldn't like leave their booth because of the way that they were kind of just like all over you and then I saw them doing it to like a few other people so I was like what the heck yeah that was like the only bad experience that I had at IMAX so the next booth that I went to is actually a booth that I had really wanted to go to last year and I obviously went but I swear they weren't selling face masks there but it's called face story I think you can get like four to seven sheet masks every month depending on which subscription you purchase they were having a sale you buy five and you get five free and their masks are either two dollars or three dollars so I bought 20 no I bought 10 I bought 10 and then I got 10 free so I came home with 20 because I have 10 in here I have 10 in here and then they gave me an extra one with like a little velcro thing for your hair it's just like a little velcro bow the girl literally like and she's wearing it like this. <laughs> so the free mask that she gave me is one that I basically like wiped their shelves clean of it because they had like a bunch of them out and I just wanted them because each mask, say like the luxe, like the luxurious mashes, mashes, masks were $3. The other ones were two, like the basic ones. But they all like, it's like you buy one and there's one sheet mask inside, like a normal sheet mask. But... They were selling these couples masks and there's one side for dry skin and the other side is for oily combination skin and in every freaking video I always say this but I have really dry skin so this is really good for me to use with Ash because Ash has like combo skin. You basically get two masks for the price of one. I got like 10 masks at first, like bought the five, got the five free. And then I kept thinking about the booth as I was like walking around other booths. And before I left, I was like, I have to go back. I have to get more. Three of the couples ones that come with one side for dry, one side for oily combination. I got two different types of rose masks. So there's this one that says 100% natural rose sheet whitening and anti-wrinkle and ultra moisturizing, which is this one. And then I also got this one and it says it's a rose gold 24 mask. I just honestly, I got this one just because the packaging looks so pretty. So then I also got these two like bee honeycomb masks, but these come with three different things inside of them. So there's like a serum, there's an actual mask, and then there's like a spot treatment inside of it. I also got three of these masks which are basically like strawberry milk masks and I honestly got them because the girl said they smell really really good and she said they are good for dry skin but I got them because she said they smell good. Next thing I got are these two Whoa That H2O Hydrating Mask and I think that Face Story actually makes these which is so so cool. This comes with a hydrating ampoule. I feel like that's like a serum but I also don't know. And then it says that there is a hydrating mask inside I also got a Glow Baby Glow Mask and this also comes with like a serum type of thing and then a face mask. And I got a few of these masks because the girl was saying that they're really good for dry skin. So I got this one. It is an aqua soothing mask. There's a green tea mask and then a Circa Ming Skin Chart Zero Solution mask. It says it's a hemp sheet mask. I got this one and it's basically what does it say shine k super fruit berry honey mask pack the girl told me that this is really good because the berries are good for dry skin i got this mask for ash and this is a detoxifying purifying pore mask with charcoal and volcanic ash and this is called the detox mask 
And then the last one I got, I thought this was so cool for the summertime. It's called Sunbay and it's a soothing mask. So you come home, put this on, and I'm pretty sure it has like aloe vera in it. And you just sit in it for like 20 minutes. And it kind of treats your skin after being in the sun all day. So if you would like to get 25% off of your first purchase, feel free to use code IMATSLA. And the last place I went to was Morphe. So the first thing I got is the brush, is a brush set. And this is the set 690. And it comes in a little like travel case like this. This is only $10. And you get six brushes. So these are all of the brushes that you get in the set. And I also got the Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge. I also got a few more brushes. So I will go through them now. Uh, how the heck do they even get these little freaking brushes inside of here? So here's the first brush. It is the M562. This is a medium shader brush and it is M166. This is a firm blending crease brush, and this is M441. This is an M432. The next one I got is an E21, which is one of my favorite blending brushes. This guy is an M510, which is a very large blending brush, but you can also use it for highlighting. And the last one is an R37. The next thing I got is the more. Oh, wait! <gasps> another brush in here okay so I already opened this because I had to use it before this video it's a lash separator so it looks like this and it's basically like steel bristles that will separate your eyelashes the next thing I got is the morphe continuous setting spray it's $15 online it was $12 at the stand at morphe it smells so good I like that it's it smells so good and it just feels light. It feels so good. It just feels like light on your face when it's like spraying on where like if you're using like a traditional setting spray and you keep spraying it, it doesn't feel like a light mist. Well, it's called a setting mist, so. You know, they know how to get you at eye mats, especially Morphe. They like wrap you around the table and you like go through the brushes and then you go through like the setting sprays and the lip products. And the lipstick, like lip gloss girl, she freaking got me. The one that I got is Freestyle. And the packaging too, like even the like angled top, it's so freaking pretty. And I want to say these are like $7. And all the brushes, which I did not mention prices again because I do not have exact prices. I did not get a receipt from Morphe. They're basically the same thing like I said about crown brushes. It's anywhere from like 2 to like 7 maybe like $11. And the last thing I got is the 35M Boss Mood Palette. This is how it looks. Here are three swatches from the palette. So thank you guys so much for coming to IMATS with me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You got a very like inside feel of IMATS. Along with like pricing and all that afterwards. Just to see all the different things you can get. And yeah, I think that's it for today. Until I see you guys again next time. Please be kind to those around you. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Literally, this is my life. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for... <laughs> Literally, like... Look at... Oh my goodness! What's inside this box? There's bubble paper, your fave! <gasps> Look at this bubble paper! You wanna pop them? <gasps> oh, they're quiet little bubbles. <laughs>